Hello. I attended the Glenn Burns public lecture. Um, growing up in DeKalb County around here, DeKalb County is always on the news on WSB TV, so I've always been, I've been seeing Glenn Burns for a while, so when I heard that he was coming, it was basically like a local celebrity was coming to give us a free public lecture, which was just incredible, so I knew I had to attend. Anyway, diving in. Glenn Burns began talking about his upbringing and how interested he was in outer space and astronomy in general. Um, he would always play with telescopes. They were always something that just fascinated him. And uh, he, he told a story about how he and his family were, were watching the, the landing of the moon live. And he actually missed the first words, which were one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. Anyway, Glenn Burns pursued a journalism degree, but he kept up with astronomy classes. It was always in the back of his mind. Um, the main thing that Glenn Burns discussed was how Star Trek, he believes, um, caused immense interest in outer space and astronomy. He believes Star Trek inspired generations of people, scientists, everybody to take interest in space and technological innovations so he quotes um saying i believe that star trek is one of the main things behind one of the main inspirations behind the te technological advancements of today which is very very um significant um Glenn Burns eventually made his way to WSB TV, where they encouraged more space news from him. Um, Glenn Burns talked about the Hubble Space Station, which was launched in 1990, but actually was blind for three years. So it's basically just a big chunk of metal in outer space, not really doing anything. They sent up a space shuttle system to repair it. And so eventually, after three years, it got, it got prepared. Um, one thing that Glenn Burns didn't dive into was really more about this Hubble space station. Um, we learned that the Hubble was actually delayed for a while be due to the Challenger disaster. So I went ahead and looked up more on the Challenger disaster and found it very fascinating. In 1986, the Challenger, after 73 seconds um, after it launched, exploded killing five astronauts, two scientists, complete disaster. At that point, general morale and interest in space and the space stations were kind of limited, so that's why the Hubble was a bit delayed. Um, Glenn Burns is really excited for the evolution of our solar system, and again, his main theme was our, our present-day technology is, is the result of inspiration which is just incredible. Um, the reason why I was interested in this is because life outside of, outside of our Earth and our solar system is completely incredible. And that is all I have to say about the Glenn Burns Public Lecture.